there's actually the bearing stays in there, but there's a sleeve, and the sleeve's oblong shape to match the uh, spindle here. It's right down in there. You can put your washers back. Right, just make sure your two holes are lined up. You should be able to spin it. And see the gear on the bottom. Turn it. Make sure you don't cross thread this. Kind of a pain to get started. There we go. And once you get down so far, it's just gonna turn everything. So what I usually do is there's a hole right here where you can see everything turning. Just put a screwdriver or something in there. Don't damage nothing. Yeah, hold it down so you can screw your star drag all the way up. Get your little bent retainer. There we go. I usually leave that off in case I have to take it back apart. Now this part, you want to make sure your spools There's a uh, gear on the back of your spool. It lines up, turns your worm gear. What I used to do is take it off. Fits it. And just like that. And then See these posts sticking up? Three are threaded, one's not. You want to line them up with your, uh, your screws on top. Sometimes you gotta turn your handle. The uh, gears on on your spool there gotta fit in the grooves on the gear. So when you get it lined up, you get it in there. You kind of line it up by eye, and then you gotta move your spool around a little bit, and it'll pop in there. There we go. You know you got it if you're uh, if it's working. I need to hold down my hand. Make 
shouldn't have any kind of gap between here and if you do something's not fitting together right just take it apart and redo it it'll, it'll snap in there there you go Yeah, that's about it. Let's see how it works. No, when you first grease the drags and put them together, I mean, you got to pull it, pull a bunch of line out to get them kind of seated in there good. Check the function, make sure the line comes out. Oops. Just line out, tighten it down. Let's tighten it down, see what it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. So that's it guys, if you want anything, like a whole rebuild of a reel, there's not much to it. I can go through that too. I buy them broke and used and put them back together, but that'll work. Thanks for watching. Bye. Another thing guys, I forgot, as you can see on that, see that little C clip it goes over the end of the bolt or the end of the uh, shaft there some people leave that off because it's a pain to get on there and take off but I find if you leave it off that there's some play and uh, sometimes when you're engaging a reel if you don't have that clip on there there's some play in here in the shaft and it won't always release so I always put that back on I forgot to show that in the video, but there you go, you can see it. Thanks for watching. Bye.